Hello everyone, here is a tutorial on how to install the mod version of Enderall Special Edition. You may already be familiar with Enderall, but there exists a version that uses Skyrim Special Edition's 64-bit engine, which comes with better performance and stability. Like the original Enderall, Enderall SE is available on Steam as a standalone game, which requires that you already own Skyrim SE. So the question is, why would anyone need to install the mod version if all the work is already done for you in the Steam version? The standalone Enderal SE on Steam is no longer being updated as of Enderal SE version 2.0.12 in order to promote the longevity of the project outside of Steam. Before you get started with the rest of the video, you will need to have a new and clean Skyrim SE or AE installation and a mod manager already prepared with SKSE 64. This is not a very beginner tutorial so I recommend that you install the Steam version if you just want to play the game as it is. The Steam version uses the old special edition version 1.5.97 so if you plan to use the anniversary edition mods for Ender LSC, I will have videos at the top right and description that will explain how to set up Mod Organizer 2 and SKSC if you didn't know already. You will also need to torrent the mod so be prepared for that. Step 1. Remove Creation Club files. Head over to your game directory and go inside the data folder. Any file that starts with CC is Creation Club content. Just simply delete them. Then head to Mod Organizer and press F5 so it can reflect the changes that we just made. As you can see, the Creation Club files are gone. Step 2. Download and install Enderal SE and its add-ons. Head over to Adderall's website. They are the one currently leading the effort to port Enderal to Special Edition. Scroll down to the main files and click on the name to download the .torrent file. If you don't know how to torrent, it's really simple and is all facilitated by a program. I will link a video that teaches you how to use QubitTorrent, a free and open source torrenting client. Once you have downloaded Enderal SE, it should show as a folder labeled Enderal SE in wherever you designated its install location. On Mod Organizer 2, you can click on this folder icon above your mod list and choose Open Mods Folder. Then you can click and drag the Enderal SE folder to that window that just opened. Then head back to Mod Organizer 2 and press F5 to reflect the changes that we made and then enable Enderal SE. For Vortex, you can drag and drop the folder at the Drop Files section at the bottom of the page on the Mods tab. It will take a while to import. Once it's done, you can install like normal then deploy. Back to Edersol's site, head to the optional files section at the bottom and download whichever you need or want. Both of these files do not need to be torrented. The behaviors pack is required if you plan to be modding using Finis or Nemesis. And the Enderal SE Steam time tracking and achievements is used for just getting your achievements and time spent in game reflected on the official Enderal SE Steam page. You will need to have Enderal SE added to your Steam library like the description says. Step 3. Install recommended optional mods. There are 9 mods that you are recommended to install, all their links will be in the description. For getting better support when troubleshooting any bugs or errors you may run into, it is recommended that you install .NET Script Framework if you're on Special Edition version 1.5.97, or Crash Logger if you're on Special Edition or Anniversary Edition version 1.6 and above. Since I'm using 1.6.640, I'll be getting Crash Logger. It requires address library for SKSE plugins and the Anniversary Edition, so I will have to install that too. For the last 8 mods, they are highly recommended that you install them in order to get a better experience in Enderal SE. These 8 mods being Sky UI, SSE Engine Fixes, SSE Display Fixes, Yes I'm Sure, Scrambled Bugs, I will need to get this 1.6.629 and later Anniversary option, Power of 3's tweaks, during the foam mod installation I will choose the 1.6.629 plus anniversary option, fixed note icon for Sky UI, for this mod I will need to get the Skyrim AE option, better jumping SE, and for this last mod I will need to get the anniversary edition version. Also if you didn't see, basically all of the recommended mods require address library for SKSE plugins, and in this case I will need to have the anniversary edition installed. This is what your mod manager and Skyrim game folder should look like at this point. That's all for the main installation of the game, so you can go ahead and start the Skyrim Special Edition launcher from your mod manager and tweak the settings that you see fit. Close the launcher when you're ready, and then start the game with SKSE to start playing. Modding Enderal SE carries the same warning as the original Enderal did, as a lot of the mods from Skyrim will likely be very incompatible, especially with mods that alter the game world space, make edits to certain races, and change the UI may negatively affect your experience. You can use ENBs and reshades if you want. They have a chance to possibly break some fade to black effects in game, but that is not guaranteed and is not game breaking. Enderal has a lot of drastic changes from Skyrim, and it is recommended that you play the game to get a feel with what may be different. Enderal SE has its own Nexus page as well as a Discord where you can ask for help. Please do not go into Sure AI's Discord for help as they will not provide for support for Enderal SE. I will link the Nexus page and Discord in the description below. 
Adderasol's website also has links to more information so I recommend that you read through it for any questions you have and before you ask for help on the Discord. That's all for now, happy modding! Distant as ever